Hello and welcome to the second BPainter devlog video in which I will show you the new features I've added for BPainter and uh, we will start with the BPainter um, brush presets so you now have two new brush presets which is the blur brush and the smudge brush so the blur brush basically lets you blur your image so that's the blur brush um, and the smudge brush lets you yeah smudge your brush uh, your image okay these are the two new brush presets um, the next thing I want to show you is a cool new uh, little setting I've added for the brush size so you see this lock icon here and usually um, blender uh, blenders brush is not um, zoom constraint so that means if you are zooming in and out you will have different brush stroke sizes so I will demonstrate you this by adding a new layer and a lot let's say I paint a stroke and if I zoom in the brush will be much uh, thinner or zoom out and that way you don't have a consistent uh, brush size or brush width and that is what these this small um, yeah, lock icon here is for. So that basically always resizes your brush based on your zoom. So if you zoom out, it will always resize. So that way you have um, a consistent line width uh, independent of your zoom, um, which can be quite handy in certain cases. Uh, you can zoom in and it will always resize the brush. So that's pretty cool, I think. Um, the next thing I will show, want to show you is the ability to preview your textures in the, uh, as a 2D texture here. So therefore you just have to press this icon here. If you press it, you see a preview of that paint channel uh, on a 2D plane. So um, it can be quite handy for some cases, I think. Uh, just press it again and you will be back in your 3D view. Okay, so um, one other cool new feature is um, currently BPainter always stores your image data within that blend file. So if you make changes, just press save, reload the file, and everything is reloaded and saved. So you don't have to save any um, images separately, and um, BPainter takes care of that. But in some cases you want you maybe want to have your uh, images um, on a local disk space so um, let's say i have an image folder and want all the images here to be saved there if you want that you now have the possibility to set a path here and this will affect the material here so this is uh, for each material you can set a single path and it will store all the images at that place so let's say we um, set it to images press ok so now you see it's set to images and if you now press ctrl s for saving the file you see that all images are generated here and stored so that way you can also uh, save your images with the one save operation um, on your hard drive. If you um, remove the path here, it will uh, store the images as packed PNGs in the blend file again. So you then just can remove everything here and the files will be stored within that blend file again. So that way you can easily um, save your files externally or internally as you like um, yeah so that's it for the saving images the next thing is um, what is quite a cool feature I think um, that's a layer mask so let's say you have this um, uh, layer here this adjustment layer which lets you set the color of your character and you don't want to affect the complete character, the whole character. You just want to 
affect a certain area, let's say in that face here. Now you just can add a mask here and you can set the size of your mask. I will keep it pretty low. And that way you um, see that here this mask is created. Now just select your brush and paint in the area you want the mask to be affecting your object. Um, this red bar here indicates that you are painting on that mask. So um, let's say, um, okay. And if you want to invert your mask, just press Control tick on the mask and it will invert everything. You can use the color picker as you know and uh, pick any color from your mask here. If you want to disable the mask, just control click on the mask, uh, shift click, sorry, and it will disable your mask. That's indicated by this gray bar here. Activating it will show this green bar. So that way you can easily create masks for any layers, not only for adjustment layers, but also for any um, usual layer. So let's say this one here. And that way you can add um, a mask. Yeah. If you want to delete a mask, um, or first, um, if you want to paint on that mask, you have to select it here. This is indicating this red bar here. If you want to paint on that layer, just press the layer here and it will show that you are currently painting on that layer. So if selecting uh, a layer here, you will always paint on the one that has this red bar here. And if you want to delete the mask, just select the mask, press the X button here, and it will first delete the mask and then delete the layer. And if you select the layer directly, it will de uh, delete the layer directly. Okay, so this is, um, yeah, these are the masks for bee painters uh, layers. Um, I have to say that all these uh, masks and adjustment layers, this works only for cycles layers or for cycles nodes because um, the Blender internal workflow doesn't offer this functionality. One last thing I want to show you is the um, icons here. I've added a few new icons. So for layers, adjustment layers and masks. A merge layer operator is uh, here, move up and down and delete. Um, now, if you add a new layer, um, earlier it always was um, added at the last position. Now a new layer is added beneath your currently selected layer. So that way you don't have to move them once you created the layer. And yeah, I've also added some um, add-on preferences here. So if you go to the add-ons, then to be painter, you have a few checkboxes here. So um, auto set viewport shading. This means if this is toggled and you're in solid mode and then switch over to texture paint, it will automatically set your view to material. You can turn this off by um, yeah, just uh, unchecking this box here. Um, use alt as color picker. If you turn it off, you have to restart Blender, save the settings. Um, the color picker won't be accessed with Alt anymore. Uh, some people have problems with um, other key bindings and therefore I've added this checkbox. And lastly, you can override the built-in color picker, which is uh, accessed with S. And that is this check checkbox for. Okay, so that's it for this video. And um, these are all the new features for B Painter. If you want to get access to all these features and to this current beta release, um, just head over to my Patreon site and become a Patreon. That way you will support me and um, can play around with all the latest features. So thanks for watching. If you like that video and like what I'm doing here, feel free to share it and subscribe to me. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.